<laughs> I talked about this on a live stream, and it's kind of gone, you know, gotten blown up. Not as big as the asses, but it's gotten blown up. That that, you know, I was looking for a small butt. <laughs> There were no small asses. Our trailer had small asses, and 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 that and it, and it was crazy. I, I commented on it, man. I was like, you know, somebody asked me, you know, hey, what's what's the what what's the biggest surprise in here? The asses. I, I can't believe how big the asses are. Now, Ned Luke's the voice actor and model for Michael in Grand Theft Auto V. And with his over 10 year experience with the GTA community, I figured now is the perfect time to ask him a few questions about what it was like to work with Rockstar, his thoughts on the GTA 6 trailer, Lucia, Steven Ogg, and a whole list of burning questions the GTA community that you has had for years. You look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. Now, Ned, I gotta ask you this, because uh, it's I feel like we're only, we're just like a little bit over a week since we got the trailer for GTA 6. Because now, now we're going to have some <laughs> new pro tags that are going to be in the GTA universe that could bump yeah. you from number two. I'm just saying, we got we got Lucia and Jason. Okay, all right, fair enough. Lucia's fair enough. hard, man. Lucia's hard, man. I loved her in the trailer. Yeah. She looked good. I mean, you know, everybody, you got a lot of these clowns out here going, oh, Rockstar's going woke. Rockstar's going woke. You know, they're, they're caving into the, you know, wokeness of the world you know and first of all there's been other female protagonists yeah you know in in the past you know but obviously not in something as huge as this i mean gta 6 is gonna be the biggest game ever but he looked good i mean she looked i don't mean looks i mean you know protagonist why like she looked like a badass right yeah to me that that last scene where they come busting in and everything, I mean, she just looked like a badass in there. And and the thing that was cool is that she led the way. She kicked open the door. And then Jason was back here, you know. So I don't know if you read into that as she's going to be the big time, you know, and he's going to be kind of like with her, you know, or 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 what. But those guys, you know, they're, I, I will say this. As far as like who's going to be number one in the GTA universe ever, is they're going to have to go some. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're going to have to be good because, and I've said this before, from an acting standpoint, and not just the protagonist, just top to bottom. I think I think that our game was, if not the best, one of the best, you know, well acted games in video game history. From top to bottom, yeah. just because you know there's so much comedy. Comedy is f***ing hard, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you f***ing kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Drama's not hard to do, you know. From at least for me, from an acting standpoint, you know, comedy's hard. I think that this thing, from the from the trailer, it looked a little. It looked like it's gonna be a little heavier than ours was. Yeah, you know, I mean, it looks like all the all the comedy and all the weirdness is going to be on the outside. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and like absolutely. all those ancillary characters, it had a little heavier vibe, like kind of. It felt to me like kind of between between us and four almost. Yeah, because four was really dark. Absolutely, yeah. I, I feel like it's there's definitely going to be a tonal shift uh, going from GTA Five to GTA Six. It just from that first trailer that we got, it seems like it's going to be a lot more serious. Uh, the jokes as it pertains, it felt or, like it. Yeah, like the zaniness. Like I, I don't see Lucia or Jason being zany characters. Like of course, the GTA Five had Trevor, yeah. which was like the comic relief. He was the crazy, the crazy uh, person. Well, he had Trevor, and then he had Lamar also, yeah. who you know NPC, but you know he was he was hysterical. Clates. Clates as Lester was hysterical. I mean, we mm -hmm. had funny freaking people. Steve yeah. Haynes. Steve mm -hmm. Haynes was was a riot, man. Yeah. He was a riot. I mean, Rob Bogue played the hell out of that part. You know, yeah. he was he was 
brilliant in that role. I, I guess I'm curious, you know, j just with like everything that you've gone through these past 10 years, what, what advice would you give like the voice actors of Lucia and Jason? Because I feel like, I mean, would it be safe to say that like being a part of the GTA, being a part of GTA yeah. 5, like has changed your life? Like it, it, you know, brought you into this community that I don't know how familiar you were with it before. I mean, get ready, get ready. I mean, dude. Yeah, I mean, they know they. I don't know if they really have any idea what they're in for. Because here's the thing, our characters looked like us, yeah, but they were still animated. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It felt like these characters. If these, you know, the the graphics are so much better. To me, I think that this character is going to look exactly like this girl and exactly like this dude, right? Yeah. And so they're going to be more recognizable even than we were. And with, with the breadth of social media now, because when we came out, social media was still kind of new, you know? And uh, my advice to them is is the same advice I gave myself, really, is enjoy your 15 minutes for as long as you can. As long as you can. You know, that 15 minutes might be 10 years like us. You know, by the time this comes out, it might be 12 years, you know? But enjoy that 15 minutes for as long as you can because it's a rare thing and the number one advice that i would give them and i would give the same advice by the way to rockstar is they need to remember the most important thing is that the fans are the game mm -hmm. the fans are the game not us not rockstar the fans are the game they're the ones who make it they're the ones who they're the ones who make the billions of dollars for rockstar they're the ones who, who you know, get me 2.8 million followers on, on freaking, you know, TikTok. Like, how did that happen? But, you know, it's like, it's like, those are the guys, man. They're the reason why, why you know, why you're doing this interview, you know, and, and that kind of thing. And, and that would be my biggest advice to them is appreciate the fans. And when someone comes up and calls you Lucia or Jason, you know, you don't go, no, 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 that's not me. He's a cartoon, Steven. You look. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. I, I was gonna ask you, like, so it seems like you, you and Solo, uh, like, y'all have really embraced your characters. Like, yeah. Why not? What, what, what's up with Steven? How come he? It's like, how come? What, what's know. up there? What's going on he, there? He, he does. I guess he he chose A. <laughs> you know, he he. I can't speak yeah. for him. I can only take what I think. I think that he, you know, he resents being being recognizes Trevor instead of as Simon or the guy from Westworld. And maybe he just wants to be known as Steven, you know, which yeah. is really what it comes down to, I think. And, you know, I mean, I, I want to be known as Ned, but I am known as Ned. And and if someone comes up to me and says, Michael, oh my God, you're Michael. I'm like, I am. Let's go get your phone out. Let's take a picture, right? Mm -hmm. Because... The reason why I have what I have is because I'm Michael. I mean, let's be honest. I had a nice career. I had a really nice career for, you know, when I, this game started, I'd been an actor for probably 25 years, right? I'd done over 100 commercials. I'd been in all kinds of television shows, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Nobody knew who the f I was. Be thankful that you're being recognized. Don't be resentful because they recognize you as someone that you didn't want to be recognized as that yeah you owe it to your fans because without without grand theft auto 5 none of us not steven not ned not solo are f***ing anybody you know you treat your fans with respect you treat your fans with love and kindness and you'll get it back well for the most part you get it back sometimes they, f they swat your house <laughs> which is terrible <laughs> by the way oh go uh-huh it's that that's that's freaking terrible. I, I remember I remember the, the six the times. Last... Six times. Yes, which is unfreaking believable. It's it, it drives me insane because you're you seem like such the you seem like uh, such a great guy. I don't know what what idiots well, would would I, would want to do that. Not, like it's just I'm not a great guy. I mean I'm an okay guy. I'm a good dude. You know uh, I can also be an asshole. I'm I sure don't think there's, you deserve you know, to be swatted though. There, you know I, I long for the day they show up at my house. Frankly, but. And my wife does it. I mean, she's she's like a PTSD now, man. She like every time yeah. the doorbell rings, she goes and grabs her Glock. <laughs> you know? hey. uh, yeah, it's just it's just me, the mailman. <laughs> I, I, I just I got a Christmas gift for you. <laughs> you know, 
fucking drop it. <laughs> you know, open it. I want to make sure there's no ricin in it. Open that f- her up now. <laughs> you know. So it's <laughs> now, now, Ned. I want, I want to, I want to take things back a little bit. Um, so you know, what, when we, when we first got uh, the GTA Six trailer, I, I want to know what, what were your initial thoughts when you saw it? I, I, I know you. There were probably lots of things going on in your, in your head, but when you were seeing this trailer for the first time, what, what, what were your thoughts? Well, the first thing was similarity Mm -hmm. to the first trailer that we did. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather, right? He said it, yes. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Boom. That kind of hit me as like, well, there's a parallel there. Yeah. Kind of, you know? Like, hey, that shit we did with GTA 5 really worked, man. Let's do something like that. We'll just give it a little twist here, you know? And, And that might be my arrogance that thinks that. But I didn't write that. You know, that was brought to me on a piece of paper. You know, I mean, like, you know, this big. Yeah. Just torn off of a, a legal pad or whatever, you know, and scribbled on. Hey, read this. Yeah, I had no idea what it was. So hers was actually a cut scene, you know. Oh, so okay. that's probably her getting out of prison or being released from prison. Or maybe she's doing the parole board or who knows. Maybe, maybe... uh Trevor comes and breaks her out. I don't know. <laughs> don't <laughs> start know. spreading lies like that. <laughs> that was my first impression. And then, you know, it cuts into the action. You know, then Tom Petty's popping, you know, and it, and it comes into the uh, the action. And I'm here at Tom Petty, and I'm going, God, was that one of our parties when I was in college? I can't remember, man. Did I, did I, did I pick up some girl to that I don't, no no but then i was going like holy crap man look at this look at these graphics they're so good look how they're moving look at the hair so the mechanics of it are are incredible to me you know the way they're walking the way they move like we still moved a little bit you know animated ish mm-hmm. you know what i mean like kind of yeah. like like our bodies weren't completely connected but it just felt like there was there was like like maybe a joint was missing or something Mm -hmm. you know i mean my walk looked like my walk but at the same time it kind of didn't you know what i mean it felt mechanical theirs just looked fluid to me you know and then but the hair you know and the and the faces look more i i I don't know if if this go around to put all the dots on faces because we didn't do that we just had the camera and then, and then the animators animated our faces yeah. based on what video was, not what was captured by, you know, the 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 motion capture cameras or whatever they were. So those were the big things that hit me about that trailer, and and then the, uh, you know, just the badassness of of Lucy. Lucia, I thought she yeah. was I thought she was very much a badass. A lot of people were going, "Oh, Jason's soft." I don't think so. You, you didn't see Jason, you know, he's in, you know, he's laying in bed with her on top of him, you know, trust, you know, I got, I got that chick on, on top of me. I'm gonna go, yeah, whatever you say, <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I really liked her. I really liked her character. Now that does that mean that it's going to translate to this amazing character in game that remains to be seen. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know, I think so. I, I think, I think so too. Um, I, I think the general consensus is like, yes, like, She's gonna be dope, you know. Obviously, you know th- this. This trailer was all about Lucia. Like, who knows what what trailer two is gonna be? Maybe, maybe it'll focus on Jason, you know. So, we'll, we'll have see, to, wait to me, see. this was more like this was more the second trailer mm-hmm. for us, where they started in, in, introducing the characters. Yeah. Because in the first trailer, the only thing you knew was was Michael, and you didn't know he was Michael. He was right. balcony yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. You know, this one here. Okay, you know that's Lucia. That was like mm-hmm. Lucia's trailer. So I I would think that the next trailer will probably be jason's trailer yeah you know to where they'll have his stuff going on Mm -hmm. and people are going to see that this dude's a badass yeah you know i hope and you know and then it'll be now they'll start bringing in all the ancillary stuff what 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 was it like uh like doing both vo and capture uh for rockstar like what was that experience like x amount of years ago like over 10 years ago it was it was different because I'd never yeah. done it. You know the the motion capture. We used to show up on set. I didn't even know it was motion capture. We, I, I showed up, you know, on set and they handed me a freaking wetsuit. I'm going, <laughs> what man? I'm not surfing, you know. 
And they're like, no, no, you got to put this in and then we're going to put balls all over you. <laughs> okay, great. And then you end up going here and we got to do this little ROM dance and the, and the cameras are going to grab your balls. Who's grabbing my balls? You know? And it's like, yeah, the, the camera is. What, what the f***? What is it, a, a robot cameraman? I just can't, can't go grab my balls. I'm not always grabbing my balls. You know? No, 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 not like that. It's just figurative. Oh, okay, the reflectors, markers. Got it. Okay. So that was weird, you know? And then you go on the set, and it's like there's no set. It's just this big empty stage. And then you got this dude who comes out, and he just builds shit using pipes and ropes and apple crates and you know all that kind of stuff so so it was it was different you know so it was really exciting you know reawakened my imagination you know and stuff like that and then as far as the voice acting thing goes see this is why i have no problem if someone says oh you're the voice actor from michael you know a lot of guys have problems i'm not you know i'm not a voice actor i'm an actor um i'm you know a performance capture artist you know dude just as long as you have actor in it i'm cool you know because I was a voice actor. I did 104 hours in the booth doing voice only, you know? All that stuff you see, like the the hipster the hipster rant, you know, the the that bit when we're going out in Palado Bay and it's like, yeah. I call Trevor a hipster. That was all voiceover. I was a voice actor for that. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything what the fuck are we talking about you are a hipster and then the rest of it was motion capture you know like so i had 104 hours of motion capture three years of i mean 104 hours of voice acting three years of motion capture and they're mixed in together you do some sometimes and other other times you know and and it was the greatest acting experience of my life my final question uh what, what do you think we'll see uh, the first trailer for GTA 7. What, <laughs> GTA what, what 7? Yeah, I'm curious. I, I, you know, I heard, I heard, and I, and I you know, well, I guess you're going to quote me on this because I'm on camera, but, you know, I would say don't quote me on this, but I heard it's coming out next week. <laughs> I heard they're skipping, they're skipping 6 completely. The trailer was just a big troll. Okay. And then they're going right to GTA 7, and it's dropping next week in time for Christmas. So, you should probably go line up at the GameStop right now. <laughs> you, you know you're going to get in trouble with Rockstar sp spreading these these rumors, right? You do know you're going to get in trouble with them. They got their shooters probably yeah. lined out oh, they, outside they, your they, house right they, now. Wouldn't be the first time they called me. <laughs> Well, well, Ned, I want to thank you so much. Hopefully man. it won't be the last time they call me. You know, I'd exactly. like to call me with a little, uh, hey, man. Ned, we need you in, you know, in the studio. But no, we'll see. honestly, I'm, I'm hoping we see you in Vice City. I, I, I really am. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be cool. Maybe a little Crockett and Tubbs, but uh, <laughs> you know, from Miami Vice. But uh, you know, I, I don't. I think there's still, you know, I, I mean, I, I I can't talk about anything, but it, right, it's. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping. You know, I love working for Rockstar. They're freaking awesome, man, and and the crew is so great, man. I love the crew so much, man. They're they're like, I, I always say, man, I, I really never had a bad day of work going there mm -hmm. and i had a lot of bad days of work in my life you know between selling cars and waiting tables and bartending and freaking you know shoveling shit and horse stalls you know yeah. a lot of bad days and i never had one bad day of work uh working for rockstar I mean, it was it was every day was a treasure man i would come in and just be happy to go to work Ned, I want to thank you so much for for doing this. This was this was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed just talking to you, chopping chopping it up with you, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, it was fun, man. Keem, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. If you're hey, ever... we're still relevant ten and a half years later, so <laughs> cut it out. Sort of. You you are timeless. Okay, cut it out. You are timeless, timeless baby. Timeless. Yes. Yeah. I'm I, honestly I'm I'm glad. I, what what I don't understand though is for GTA Five, how come y'all didn't get like a cool. 10 year anniversary mug like GTA 3 did. Well, you know, there's because, no there's uh, no 10 year anniversary memorabilia. Oh which, really? Not that well, I know of. You go to, I, I you go to my YouTube it. channel. You go to my YouTube channel and you got a 10 year anniversary playthrough. <laughs> That's going to last a lot longer than that cheap ass mug you got right hey, there with the with This cost $200. Uh, How dare you? I got ripped off, but still, I I got it on resale. You mean they didn't just send it to you? 
No, I, Jeez, I had no. Man. I I had to. Yeah, I got it on resale. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't know what to tell you about that, man. I'm trying to. I'm looking around my place here, trying to see what what I got for a 10 year anniversary in. <laughs> oh, I got I got a bottle cap. Yeah, but th thank you so much, Ned. Yeah, you got it, man. I appreciate right. it.